while we are um, we're discussing Peyton Pritchard, who plays for the Boston Celtics. He is from West Lynn. <clears throat> Had a great career with the Ducks. Hit a big three the other night. A little buzzer beater. He's, um, you know, uh, I don't know what his numbers are in the NBA. but He's a uh, nice backup point guard for me. Yeah. He's good, a nice role good player. Good three-point shooter. Yeah. And uh, we were asking the question why he doesn't seem to be as revered here as some other um, high-level athletes that have come out of our area. You mentioned Kevin Love. We were talking about um, Justin Herbert. Sabrina. Uh, yeah, she went to Oregon. She's yeah. not actually from it. So no. Peyton from here. Yeah. Now, a, a theme that we're getting on the Vancouver Ford text line is that, and, and this I, 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 and I, I would imagine all of this, you know, it's, it's like a combination of a, of a, a hundred things, right? Yeah, it's usually not one thing. One of those things, and I think this is legitimate, is the West Lynn or Lake O kids. Yeah. And Kevin Love did get some of this, but mm -hmm. Kevin Love, I don't remember Peyton Pritchard in high school, but Kevin Love, I do. Like Kevin Love was like the best player in the country, wasn't yes, he? He was a huge like, number talent. one. Yes, he was a big deal. Could so have gone he anywhere got, he wanted. He got more love than Pritchard because of that. But I think there is a stigma against the rich kids' uh, schools. You know, sure. the Westland and the and the and the Lakos. Yeah, I think that that's a deal. Like if he played for Jefferson or if he played for. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, Roosevelt one of those or schools. something. But yeah, you win four. I mean, he won four straight state titles with Westland. Did he? Yeah, four straight. So was he as awesome as Kevin Love in high school? He he was. I mean, he was a phenomenal player, but he was an undersized guy. Not like, physically. I mean, Kevin physically. Love was you know six well, ten. So yes. yeah, so. but I just mean like as a player, just he, from a accomplishment standpoint. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because Love didn't even win four straight, did he? Didn't no. they lose one year? No, he didn't win four. He straight. did not I mean, win four in a row. Pritchard is a high school legend. But again, to your point. You know, Westland Lake O, you're going to get a lot of people that aren't. I mean, it's not Jesuit, but it, you yeah. know, it's it's the same it's, idea. It's the same idea for a lot of people. Yes. The other one that we keep hearing, and and I think you got to be careful with this. I he sounds from from all accounts because some people say I've never heard anything but good things about him. We had a teacher that was there at Westland. Uh, there was a coach that coached another sport. Said. Dude was a was an awesome kid. Coach never had anything to, to uh, bad to say about him. And then there's other people that said he was basically a stuck up jerk. But the one common thing is that he's very quiet. And you also have to wonder if you are a quiet kid and a gym rat. I guess he just lived in the gym. If you're quiet, very dedicated to your sport, don't say a whole lot of things to a lot of people, and all you do is play basketball as Wes Lynn, is it possible that that comes off as being a stuck up jerk to a lot of people? You know that's yeah. He does seem quiet. A well, lot of a lot of times, well, the quiet kid. If you are really talented and dedicated towards something, for some people, unfortunately, that gets viewed as standoffish and, and being an ass for not having a big personality. Yeah, one of the people in the Vancouver Four text line saying that his senior year, he basically didn't go to class and was in the gym shooting baskets six hours a day. See, but that's not a that's I mean, but that's not a, a, a lot of athletes. That's do that. yeah, that and that's not a bad thing. But again, if if you're in school. And you never see Pritchard out at parties. He's not a guy that's that's running around prom, and he's not the student body president. And you're like, where's the where's the the Pritchard kid? I don't know. He's in the gym again. I can see where a lot of people take that as entitlement, uh, standoffishness, and and you know, because I don't know the kid. I've never heard anything bad about him. And so it just makes me wonder. The one thing I have heard is that he's quiet and reserved and doesn't have a big personality. Well, so you got to be careful too, with that. Parents, you know, like I was thinking about Adley Rutschman and. You know, his dad, like, this is not a huge town. And no. you and I have been in sports in this town for over 20 years yeah. or just short of 20 years. And so you just you just run into sports people. Yeah. With Peyton Pritchard, one, never met him. And we've met most of all the big athletes that have come out of here, even if they're not even from here. But um, and then. Two, you know their parents if they're from here, yeah. or you've, or you, you, you have at least heard about the reputation of the parents. Yep. Like Adley Rutschman's dad is a, is a gem. Yep, the uh, whole family. Uh, is. They're they're wonderful, yeah. and that's their reputation, right? I don't. That's another one about Peyton Pritchard. I don't know who his parents are. No, never heard a thing about him. No, it's nope. the damnedest thing. Yeah, and and so he just is kind of a. And maybe he's happy this way. Yeah, you know, maybe he's one of those yeah, guys. None that's, of these should be criticisms. No, but it's just uh, it is kind of interesting that he's. You know, he's just not really talked about much. And he, and he yeah. could be an NBA champion here. Yeah. Shortly. And, and you know, he's, in, he's a six man for Boston. He scores nine to 10 points at night. And 
for a guy that's undersized that people had had doubted, you know, he was that guy in high school. They were like, yeah, he was a high school player, but oh, he won't do much in college. Started as a freshman in the Final Four, for God's sakes. And the other one that people brought up, his senior year when he really had the breakout year was an All-American Player of the Year. He got the tournament canceled. Yeah, COVID. Would that have made a difference if, if he could have taken Oregon on a run? I think it would have, yeah. Does that kind of help it's Same with him? Sabrina. Yeah. Had that, right? Oh, yeah. It was in her senior year. Senior year. And, and and a lot of people thought that that Oregon was the would have been the national champion. And Sabrina was a big deal nationally. Now, I'm not saying that she would have been Caitlin Clark, but Sabrina had some juice going. And if she would have been able to have that senior year tournament run, she she would. I mean, she's already a big deal. She has her own shoe at Nike. And, but she was the queen of the triple double, yes. broke the men's and women's record. She would have. She her would have team been, beat it, the Team USA team yes. that off season. As big a deal as she is, that a tournament run and winning a national title, buckle up. Puts her in a different strategy. Because she probably. would have been the definition of a star. She would have been Caitlin Clark before Caitlin Clark. Although she struggled her rookie year, and yeah. she would have been dragged like Caitlin Clark, maybe. <laughs> The Caitlin Clark stuff is just... Caitlin Clark is white! I told you, I feel bad for her. I told you going into this thing, I felt bad for her because through no fault of her own, she's in the middle of the days of our lives. And the coverage around here is just silly and stupid. I think she has handled it tremendously well, but it's a no-win situation for her. Somebody else texts, I always thought Peyton was Kevin Pritchard's son, the <laughs> maybe, former Blazers maybe that's GM. why everyone hates him. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, they were kind of... Well, Pritchard is old enough to be his dad. That would work. Yeah, it would work. <laughs> <laughs> but Pritchard, Kevin Pritchard, former Blazers GM, as you may or may not know, yeah. he's a rock chalker. Yeah. He went to Kansas. Well, he won a Danny, title with Danny, Danny, Danny and the Miracles. He was one of the Miracles. Yes, he was. He was the point guard on that team. <laughs> and I love him get, to this day for it. Drug along by the great Danny Manning. I used to make him so uncomfortable because that's all I would want to talk to him about. <laughs> he do and was. he'd just be like, Isaac. <laughs> what do you want from me? God. I was slapping the floor. I don't know. Leave me she, alone. She used to ask him questions about, like, hey, how awesome was Danny Manning? Hey, uh, how tall? Well, like, no, we talk about like because I knew the I knew the team. Yeah, so we talked about like Milton Newton and Scooter Barry. <laughs> Scooter Barry. Yeah, we had a Barry on that team. One yeah. of the one of the one Barry, of the Barry brothers, right? Yeah. Scooter Barry, I love it, and his name was Scooter. There's nothing more. Maybe Pritchard just needs a, a name like Scooter. If he was Scooter Pritchard, would we think differently about him? Someone here too and say, yeah, he hit a game winner against UW and then ran around the court yelling, "We run this state." He should win this poll. He should be more popular. <laughs> we're gonna start the when he wins a title. We're gonna bring him on and we're gonna, we're gonna start that. We should all collectively like love Peyton Pritchard well, more. You just alone the undersized white guy thing. Yes. We love the undersized white guy. God, it's new. It's the one thing we won't shut up about. And and yet, hot, hot, hot. Yeah, Julian Edelman. Anytime, anytime someone's even remotely undersized and they're white, we we freak out. That paid Pritchard. He's so gritty. <laughs> Could yeah. you mix in a black? He just wants it more. He just wants it more. All right. All effort. Hard well, worker. No talent. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but uh, all good. Uh, all good thoughts about the legacy of the great Peyton Pritchard. Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Yes.